you know, I'm just wondering. I don't mean to, you know, put you on the spot or anything. Yeah. Your tree. No, I did listen to the lyric the last but, time. Yeah, it's got some true details in it and false details in it. It's like, yeah. I'm not trying to turn it into like a night at the actor's studio or anything. <laughs> well, well, you know, for this, now that you've opened up, that, I'm just uh, kind of curious. That can of worms. I, I did notice that. Uh, what do you got there? Well, I never thought that I'd make the inquiry in exactly the way that I made it this week, and uh, that was exciting for me to uh, appear in these hallowed pages. And actually, this every word of this is true, as it turns out. Um, but maybe I'll, I'll, do, I'll read a, a bit about me in a little bit here. Uh, did anybody see it already, by any chance? No, no subscribers? I don't, know about, I don't know about you guys, but I'm, I'm going straight to the jewel after this show. <laughs> Right to the checkout counter. Is that where they have it? Yeah, I'll give me a pack of gum and a, and a Robbie edition of the Inquirer. It's going to be a great night. You really, you really in there, aren't you? Well, I think you should be in now. What do you got? Yeah. Yeah. Jennifer Aniston. <laughs> Mariah Carey. Uh, this is an article or an ad. It goes, I parked my new butt. <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, I'm sorry, but I didn't have the page marked. <clears throat> Charlize Theron. Larry Hagman wants Salma Hayek, really? <laughs> Why should he be any different than anybody else? <laughs> I thought he was dead, very happy. <laughs> Man, there's a long magazine. Okay, here it is. It goes. <laughs> there's no picture of me or anything, but it, the name of the article is Drew Carey's Midlife Crisis. All right, all that happened. <laughs> All that happened was like last week, uh, maybe a week ago, he was nice enough, he's a, a nice fellow, and he put up a little tweet about a, a song of mine on his like Twitter page or whatever. And uh, you would have thought, well that's that. But apparently this is exhibit A in the um, overwhelming case that Drew Carey is having a mental breakdown. <laughs> <laughs> he likes my song. <laughs> I mean, the that would be that he's finally kind of coming back. Coming around, right? <laughs> the good old, uh, yeah, the good old uh, Drew Carey show days when he was a little uh, heavier, a little funnier, you know? I mean, he looks, he looks a little tragic here in this picture, but I don't know what he's saying. Well, I mean, they don't call it midlife crisis for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> There's a... Uh, my song isn't the only evidence that he snapped, but there, there's like there's like three other things, but they're kind of like buried on the inside of the article. It goes like this. Do you want to hear this article? It goes, yeah. Drew Carey has snapped. <laughs> and uh, the first paragraph. Remember, Victor Borg, he's dead. Okay. <laughs> That's what people are saying after the Price of Rights right post began. Shocking fans with this increasingly bizarre behavior. <laughs> In the most recent event, February 27th, the 53-year-old funny man posted a link to a very offensive song on his Twitter. <laughs> Calling it my song of the day, Drew exposed fans to the profane tune Star, 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 Star This Town by Maverick Country Singer. Bob. <laughs> Then it goes up to the quote of, uh, of someone, of one of their sources. It, it goes, it drops the F-bomb five times in the chorus alone, <laughs> uses other expletives, and makes a derogatory remark toward gays, noted and incited. <laughs> <laughs> must be somebody else, yeah, my wife or somebody else that had that out for me. Many of Drew's fans are older women and his management was horrified at the tweet. But the star told them it sums up his feelings about Hollywood and quote, he didn't give a damn what anyone thought, added the insider. He snapped 
It's like he's trying to sabotage the career he's worked so hard for. <laughs> I saw her. <laughs> it's not that bad. It's not, right, not that bad. It's not a great song. I'm not saying my song is great, but it wouldn't make anybody snap. I don't know. Uh, okay, there's a little more. He succeeded Bob Barker on The Price is Right, if you didn't know that. Apparently that happened. Uh, but then the rotund comedian dropped nearly 90 pounds, had laser surgery so he could ditch his thick glasses, and developed a quote, brazen new attitude, said a closed source. Well, that explains a lot of things. Right? <laughs> that's, that's a gateway to fuck this town. <laughs> Brazenness in his glasses. He raised eyebrows in January when he dumped longtime girlfriend Nicole Jarakis after an engagement of more than four years, during which he helped raise her son. Oh, man, yeah, he sounded worse than worse. Within days of the split, Carrie was seen out with a new girlfriend, 31-year-old actress and model Kelly Wilden, who is 22 years his junior. So far, he sounds perfectly sane to me. <laughs> <laughs> That's insanity. He's coming back. Uh, then, uh, another quote from the insider. The insider terms. For fans, it seemed like the old Drew has disappeared. He seems to be suffering a midlife crisis and cracking under the pressure of his daily TV job. End quote. Uh, then back to fuck this town. His management informed him that he was turning off his fans. Then he went ahead and posted the outrageous song, quote, which is sure to appall 90% of the people, said the closed source. I played the song for several years, and I can confirm that statistic. I mean, it's probably like 80% in my own personal demographic, but I'm probably a little higher. Uh, then it just ends. Drew used to be a lot more savvy. It's as if he's shooting himself in the foot at every turn, and he just doesn't give a damn. Okay, so that's me in it. <laughs>